this story is uh, uh, of an accidental advocate. So the reason I got into the disability field um, as, a, as a young immigrant woman to Canada, I acquired a disability myself um, soon after I arrived in Toronto. And uh, given that I did not have any mentors, I did not have any role models to look at, and uh, the barriers I face in, you know, just uh, getting on with my life, uh, inspire me to uh, look at uh, what are the systemic issues that are keeping people with disabilities down. And my background is as I, I am a South Asian immigrant, so I always uh, look at uh, the racialized communities who are uh, still not part of the uh, disability movement. Disability movement remains very white, um, so uh, those voices and their narratives are totally excluded. So we aim to bring those voices to the forefront and making sure people are not marginalized and hidden um, in the background. Yeah, so I moved around a lot as a kid. My dad was in the army, so we sort of moved from base to base. And each one had its own sort of distinctive little culture and things were different in each town. And to make a lot of friends, or not even a lot of friends, any friends, uh, you kind of had to figure out just how things worked there. You had to figure out, you know, what just, what the culture was like. Um, yeah, so psychology is just one of those things that is so innate to everyone. Uh, I just didn't really have the words to uh, describe what I was experiencing yet, so psychology just gave me those words. I am from origin from Somalia and I came to Canada in 1990 and I have been lucky enough to have a group of people that mentor me and guide me through the system and I, I really wanted to do that to be that person for other Somali communities who are coming here, not only Somali communities but also other African communities that are in, uh, here in Edmonton. We also work with uh, Syrians and Iraqis and um, Aboriginal community as well. So um, I am original from Somalia and I, I understand Somali culture as well as the Canadian culture and I always like to be that bridge that people like you know connect people from you know here and there and um, it's a work that I really love. I, I love helping people. I love people seeing people succeed and I, I like to see people to overcome their barriers and difficulties and, and really just transition into a, a success and, and beautiful life. This is an open letter that I wanted to tell everybody that why, why I will be a feminist. It's because you make the world unsafe for me and then you blame me for being a victim because you make the popular culture that expects me to choose pink over blue and then you blame me for loving pink because you discourage me to try manly things and then blame my ineptitude during my attempts of learning to drive because you expect me to look straight out of magazine cover and then blame me for taking time to get ready because of those hundred things that you blame me when I conform to your norms and when I did not, dear patriarchy, I will continue to be a feminist till the day you exist as an unapologetic feminist. <laughs>